Hey, a pleasure. Good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick Flyers versus Panthers preview as my recap of this game will be late as I will be covering the great Reading Royals, our EA, ECHL, excuse me, affiliate for Flyers Nitty Gritty, Jamie Baskow and Yoli Wolock. Follow them in the description to the website and also the channel will be at the end screen. But let's get right into it. Keith Yandel is going to be facing his former team tonight as it looked like they might have ended his Ironman streak last year. They decided to actually keep playing him. Had a solid offensive season. Is off to as hot as a firecracker start obviously this year for a Philadelphia Flyers. As if we take a look at Keith Yandel right now, he already has five assists on the season. And of course, the other big thing for our Flyers team coming in at 2 0 and run, 2 0 and 1, excuse me, against the 4 0 Panthers, one of the best teams projected this year and to start the season, is that second line that's killing it. Kevin Hayes has been skating back at practice. I wouldn't be surprised if they start him on the third line when he comes back just because of how Hopper, Sart, Atkinson, and Fairby have been. My good buddy Zach mentioned not to mess with that line, and I fully agree with him. The first line is doing well as well. Claude Giroux as the shooting mentality has really been a great leader to start this year. Sean Couturier, the same thing, four points with three assists, one goal. And then TK is really scoring again early, three goals, one assist, and I think he will carry that through more this season. Plus, we haven't even got the third line guys going yet, JVR and Oscar. Lindblom and the Scott Lawrence of the world, who are all going to have pretty good seasons themselves. Obviously, Nicholas Albay Kubel um, has been struggling early, so it'll be interesting if eventually when Patrick Brown's kind of into the scheme, he's back, he practiced, but once he gets kind of in the groove with the Flyers, if he will kind of take his spot there and what's going to happen when it comes to that fourth line winger position, but it seems like Knack will be in there for tonight, and then it will be Provorov and Braun since they have familiarity with each other, since, of course, um, Ryan Ellis is going to be out tonight, and then Sanheim and Risto, and then Yandel and Sealer, so he will be with Nick Sealer again against his former team, which is going to obviously motivate Keith Yandel, because any time you go against a former team, particularly one that there was the saga last year where they almost ended up benching him to end that Ironman streak, that's going to give you a little bit of extra motivation if you're somebody like Keith Yandel. Now, it looks like, obviously, Carter Hart is going to start um, for our Flyers tonight, but it looks like when it comes to their team, it will be the former Flyer Sergei Bobrovsky that Flyers fans are going to get to see at home, who is off to a really hot start himself this season, actually playing really well and really consistent in net to start the season, as he is 3-0 and with a 1-9-9 and 946 save percentage. So he is really starting off the season well and really playing like the Bob that people remember from Columbus and not like he played this far in Florida. He started getting going again last year, and this year he's really been picking it up. Of course, you have to really watch that first line. Verhege and Barkoff already have five points. Anthony Duclair has been very dangerous since going to Florida. And then the second line, led by Sam Bennett, he already has four points and four goals. And then you have Tibbet and Huberdeau, who are both dangerous players, the young Owen Tibbet and the great veteran Huberdeau. So you got to watch those first two lines especially and then you really got to watch the youngster Anton Lindell who plays a great 200 foot game who already has four points who's been kicking butt this season early on it doesn't look overmatched at all at the NHL level and then obviously when it comes to the defense they also have been playing good defense they're led by Mackenzie Weger and Ekblad have good defensemen in Forsling and Racco Gudis who seem to be mixing very well together so far this season and then for this game you got Kevin Connaughton and Brandon Montour. So obviously that's because all you Levy and Marcus Nudavar are both injured. So that looks like that's going to be how that shapes out for each of the teams when it comes to defense, when it comes to offense. They also have, obviously, Sam Reinhardt on this team that already has three points in four games. He adds more if they're going to keep playing him in the bottom six over Owen Tibbet being in the top. He adds more to that bottom six. Or if you move Owen Tibbet, he obviously still adds good offensive ability to that bottom six. So Reinhardt, Liddell, Marchment, Vetrano, E2, Listerinen, and Patrick Hornquist are the bottom two after we already said the top two lines. So that does it for the Florida Panthers. And then for our Philadelphia Flyers, they're obviously not going to change anything on that great second line with Fairby, Brass, and Atkinson. They're not going to change anything on the first line with Giroux, Katoria, and Konechny. It's really the same as last game, Lindblom, Lawden, and Van Riemsdyk. And then they're going to keep going with Knack, according to this projection, Nate Thompson and McEwen, which makes sense because Patrick Brown's not fully in the groove and fully doing everything yet. In order to beat this Panthers team, the Flyers are going to have to come out and play really like they did against 
Seattle and establish themselves really well or have and just have a great shooting mentality like we've had in all three games, whether it was the loss to Vancouver, the win against Seattle and the win against Boston that we got outshot, but were opportunists and able to still create good high quality scoring chances. You really are going to have to push the ante like this team has been doing early. Be, be aggressive, but in smart spots. Don't be overly aggressive and kind of go from that like this team has been doing early. I expect Atkinson to have a good game. I expect those top two lines really like they've been doing to have a good game. I expect McEwen to have a physical um in front in this game as well because if you look at the Panthers, they of course have the Vertranos, the Hornquists that try to get under your skin on their team as well as the Mason Marchments. So you have some guys that you would look that this might be a game McEwen will get into a scrap a bit as well as Risto. So I look for this game to get a little bit scrappy. But I think if the Flyers can play like they have in these first three games, particularly the opportunists getting the good scoring chances and also just playing with the great up Annie play through 60 they did against a competitive Kraken team early. Yes, they haven't won game other than one, but they are a competitive team early. So, but he, by being able to do that and keep that play style up, I think our Philadelphia Flyers will have a very good chance today to be able to beat the 4-0 Florida Panthers because Keith Yandel, I think, is going to play just like he has been all season, probably play as the MVP of this game, in my opinion, because he's going to be fueled playing his former team. That almost ended his Ironman streak, which would have been awful last year. So hopefully he has a great game. I think he will. I think Carter Hart will have a big game, and I think it will be a pretty good goaltender duel. That'll be a 3-2, to 2-1 two, two to one type finish, and our Philadelphia Flyers will be able to come out on top. Subscribe down below or up above if you enjoy the content. I got to go to cover the Reading Royals for Flyers Nitty Gritty. Peace out, everybody. Let's go Flyers and get that W tonight. This has been the Sports Fanatic News preview to the Flyers versus the Florida Panthers. Let's go, every, let's go Flyers. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.